place. Does it, when I first came to Japan, um, when I first came to Japan, I went to the station and I hated it because you're walking to the station, everybody's smoking. They, you know, they smoked on the platform. They smoke as they're walking to the train station. It was pretty bad. But um, interestingly enough, I guess in Japan they used to smoke on the train too. Can you imagine? <laughs> the commuter trains. So what does the Bible say about smoking? That's the question of the week. What does the Bible say about smoking? Do you know any Christians that smoke? Do you know anybody? I know some Christians that smoke. Does that mean that they're not a Christian? Well, let me tell you. The Bible says that our body is a temple of the Holy Spirit. And at our church, we talk a lot about how your body is your earth suit. If you don't take good care of your body and it dies, we will not see you again. And when you believe on, on Jesus, the Bible says that absence from the body is presence with the Lord. So those who have passed before us, they're no longer around. They're either with the Lord or eternally separated from Him. So very simply, the Bible doesn't say much about smoking. It doesn't say anything about you know you know um, dr doing drugs either really you know putting. But we're told in the New Testament that your body is a temple of the Holy Spirit and you're supposed to take care of it. So when you do something that destroys your body, it, it shortens the span that you'll be on this earth. So can a smoker be a Christian? Of course! But the way that I believe God does things is it says, the Bible says the Holy Spirit convicts. So when you become a believer and eventually the Holy Spirit will speak to you and say, you probably should stop that. So when the Holy Spirit speaks to you about something and you don't do it, and that's when you go into sin. So, 
えー、それはあ,あなたが、えー、精霊に、えー、背くということになると思います。Um, for example, in my life, I don't smoke and I don't drink, but、um, the Holy Spirit started talking to me about there's a sweetener in American foods that's very dangerous. It's made in a laboratory to make food sweet. And so the Holy Spirit convicted me that you shouldn't eat that stuff, it's not good for you. So I stopped eating and I started looking at stuff before I bought it. Look at the back. And when I began to look, I began to realize this nasty stuff it's in cola, it's in jam, it's in ketchup. Ketchup is the big one. It's, it's,、uh, it's nasty stuff, and I think it's part of the reason why there's so many Americans with cancer. であのその食品、その人工甘味料というのは、実はアメリカで作られているケチャップの中にたくさん入っていますし、えー、それからお菓子の中とか、えー、コカ・コーラの中、えー、そういった成分の中にの,なの成分の一つとなっています。So the Holy Spirit convicted me and,、uh, about that, and so I stopped eating it. So... The Bible says that those who are led by the sons of God, excuse me, those who are led by the Spirit of God, those who are led by the Spirit of God, they are the sons of God. So when God leads you, we need to listen. Hallelujah. Amen.